Hey, Drew's Views here, back for another edition of Anna Monday, reacting to an anime on Monday, still doing Code Gaius R2, Leluch of The Rebellion. Today I'm up to episode 13, which looks to be called Assassin from the Past. So I think that's got to be Jeremiah, who showed up at the end of last episode with Vivian Toe. He has, seems to have some power now where he can cancel out the gas. I'm not sure if it just applies to Zero's gas or any one of them in general, but uh, at the end of last episode, he started doing it, and then Shirley seemed to get back all her memories. Shirley. And uh, yeah, poor Shirley, as usual. Uh, so just when her and Lelouch had a seemingly nice moment towards the end of that last one, uh, which was kind of a silly episode in general, but with the, the punch at the end... Uh, yeah, just when that happened, she's obviously going to be upset with him now. Uh, so they have a lot, uh, I mean, I think at least they have a, quite a complicated history, but it seems like more people are going to find out Lelouch is zero here. Um, also, I didn't really talk about it at the end of my last recap, but there was a brief scene in the last one where Nunnally came up to Callan in her like, jail cell there. So I don't know if Callan would tell not only that her brother is really zero or that would be interesting if she did though um and let's see what else happened oh millie is <laughs> graduated from the school real quickly <laughs> she's a weather girl now so i don't know if we're gonna see her this time but uh what's his name took it well that she cut, cut off their engagement uh lloyd so yeah um we don't know we didn't really see uh, yeah, it was a school focused one last time we didn't see what jinke and the chinese are up to but um, I assume, yeah, this, I mean, it's called, uh, Assassin from the Past. I assume it's gonna be a Jeremiah V Zero type of episode, but let's find out and get right into it here. Well, swim goggles. So does Valetta know that she knows now? Also, the other girls were saw what just happened, or is this a dream sequence? I guess it might be. The mask is gonna go on. Yep, and fall. Okay. I guess we got a new uh, intro here. I don't know. I'm, animes always seem to do this. Like they, after a few episodes, they just have a whole new. Even mid-season or whatever, just the whole new opening song, everything. If it ends here, this one's way shorter. No, of course it won't. <laughs> Not only a rainbow. I think I like this song better than the last one. A little better melody. There's Zinke. Has the cat ever been given a name? No, Rivals doesn't know anything. Why is everyone meeting up here? Hopefully the G-trains are running better than the ones here in uh, New York. There's Jeremiah. <laughs> These two used to be tight, I think. Hmm. Time for your ninja skills. I don't think that's gonna work. There's no child. Okay, so it looks like he literally is the Emperor's brother. That wasn't, um... 
just something he was saying, metaphorical or something. Okay, it looks like he can take out any gas, not just zeros. Uh oh. So is Sayoko dead? Okay, she got them to come. I thought she really would, like, she's coerced to work with Lelouch anyway, right? Why wouldn't she want to, hmm, want him to get taken down? Jeez. Oh my god. Gotta have some serious strength, Suzuki. Suzuki must not be skipping arm day at the gym. Oh, is that the cat's name? That's all right. At least these guys didn't get killed. <laughs> Literally. This guy again. No, I knew these guys wouldn't be able to handle it. I think they actually died, but maybe they did. I don't know, how did Leilich know he was even coming here? Oh, 
thought Jeremiah knew this already. Interesting. Don't like that. It's not going to work, Lelouch. Anyway, could he, even if it was something that's physically possible, like, he already used it on her once before, right? Well, R.I.P. Shirley. Definitely the most tragic character on the show, I would say. Uh, even escaping death earlier in the episode, uh, still got killed by Rolo there at the end, I'm assuming. I mean, they didn't show him do it, but that's all one could assume. Um, he's jealous now. I'm not sure. I mean, Leiluch himself remembers, not only since he got his memory back, so... And I thought Rolo knew that, but I guess he just wants any obstacle that's in the way of him and his brother taken care of. But I mean, not only is obviously going to get in the way at some point. So yeah, oh, so very sad episode, I guess. Um, but yeah, so he surely even keeps falling in love with Lulu even after getting all the memories back. I didn't, that didn't really see that coming, to be honest. Um, thought she'd be mad at him or more conflicted, but... I guess she died still loving him, so is this going to cause Lelouch to change his way, uh, you know, change his actions in any way? I'm not sure, because um, he did say earlier when he was, when him and Suzuku are saving her from the suicide or whatever, that he doesn't want to lose anyone else, um, but, so he, he does obviously most, and he's doing the whole thing for Nunnally to begin with, whatever, against his father, so he's very focused on people he cares about or people in his life directly, but... Um, he doesn't always seem to care about the consequences of other people he doesn't know, like all the people that he gets killed all the time through his actions and gas and whatnot. Uh, even more just random people dying this episode, guards and security guards and whatnot. So um, I know he has the whole larger scheme to change the world and whatever too, but you know, I think he needs to uh, consider his actions more here. Um, so what else happened? So Roll is obviously going to be a problem. There's going to be, you know, Lily will, will find out about it and there's going to be an issue between them. Uh, and Jeremiah apparently had been working for Lelouch's mom. That's interesting. And he's really going to be on his side now. So I, like I said, I don't know how Lelouch even knew it was coming to meet up with him there when he had the things on the train that was making him tweak out. So I didn't really understand that. Yeah, a couple of things I didn't understand this episode. I, 
I don't know if I'm just missing things. I mean, sometimes when you react, it's hard to catch everything, especially having to, to read a, the sub as well and try to react. Um, and sometimes I catch stuff more when I go back and edit these. But overall, I'm still kind of confused about the Valletta storyline here or, or why she's doing what she's doing. I thought she... I mean, it seemed like she'd just been coerced by Lee Luch into going back to his side this season here when she's been against him and... I thought she would still be against him now, given the opportunity. I might be forgetting something or missing something about what leverage she has on her, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So, but she even saw Ogie briefly or heard him, I think, on the phone or whatever there. So it'll be interesting if they get get back together. Happy ending for them. Although I don't know how many happy endings we're getting in the show here. And then it did get confirmation that Vivi is literally the Emperor's brother. I the I couldn't tell the first time he they said that that it was true. Might be forgetting something that's come up since then that I should already know that, but I think that is confirmation there. So it's the, all their uncles is the uh the witch, not all their uncles, but the uncle of all the the kids there. The many of them is a uh, the witch, and we still don't know exactly how Cece is related to him. I think I don't think, but when she wasn't in this episode at all, no Nunnally, no Callan. But basically focused on, I guess, f five, uh, five or six main characters. This one, and then we yeah we saw Sayoko briefly. I think she was okay after the fight with Jeremiah, but she got messed up there. So yeah, uh, well I'm definitely excited to watch the next one. I think uh, Lee Luch is not gonna be in a good spot here. He's gonna might be doing something drastic, but who knows? And uh, Suzuki, I mean, he's got to make some decisions here and what he wants to do. I mean, he's got to basically know what's going on now. The clues are all there that Lelouch is still zero, so if he really is going to be against him, he's got to take some more steps, but we'll see what happens there, and uh, I'll be back for that one, episode 14 of R2 next time, Code Guess. But uh, this has been Drew's Views, and until then, I'm out of here. Peace, Your Majesty. Sorry. 今度はどなたとお約束かしら? <laughs>